Corey. Okay. Grabbing a suggestion from another headline of the New York Times. Uh, suggestion is hiring. 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 Got anything? No jobs? No. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to burst in your office like that. If you can, get you a fire. Get you a, get you a let go, terminate. What did you, uh, what did you think was going to happen? I, uh, well, why did you think that was going to be okay? Uh, it was a Friday afternoon. I thought you guys had summer Fridays. You guys would go home early. I thought it'd be a fun crowd. And it did not work. <laughs> Boy, it did not work. Uh, you think they're actually going to press charges? I mean, yeah, probably. You, you punched Carol. That's probably going to get you some jail time. Ah, uh, I mean, I telegraphed that fake punch, but she did not move. Yeah, but Rick, you leaned into it. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to sell it. You know, I was just, uh, came out of an audition, and I was playing a boxer, and I showed up, and still had it in me, mm -hmm. and I just punched Carol away and punched her in the face. Yeah. She got up, though. So that's... Yeah, she's point. not dead, so that's a plus. That's a great plus. Um, I'm obviously going to cover rent for the foreseeable future until you find something. You're going to have to. You're literally going to have to. Um, I'm offering. Uh, yeah, Rick, it's, a, it's sort of a, this is a courtesy. Oh, it's a courtesy. It's a necessity. You got to fire. We can split hairs all day. I mean, it's not splitting hairs. You walk into my office, more wasted than I've ever seen anyone. You tried to start a party. You might have thought it was Summer Fridays, but it was new. It was new. I'm not an office guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're an actor. I'm an actor. Yeah. Don't say it like that. This is, I take this seriously. But you take it seriously, but you come into an office. I, I, I work at Johnson & Johnson, okay? Yeah. You come into that office, where I am an executive, shirtless. What the hell does Johnson & Johnson have anything to do with it? It's a respectable corporation. It's a large corporate environment. It has certain protocols, and that certainly wasn't one of them. I mean, Jesus. Would it okay if they didn't know you were my brother? Right. Well, this is good. This is good. What is good about it? This is good. You didn't like that job. You can find. You can find a dream job. I bet. Your dream job is in that newspaper. I know what you're going to say. And again, I am so sorry about the laptop. Mm -hmm. that you can't search mm -hmm. the laptop. Mm -hmm. But a paper is just as good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a new one. I'm going to pay for a new laptop. Where are you getting all this money? Okay. I, I feel like I really know this box about this shit. Uh, this is a national commercial. Great. And this is like, I gotta join SAG first, that's like three grand. Mm -hmm. But after that, I'm in SAG, so like, I'll be taken care of much better in commercials. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna be rolling it pretty soon. Okay, man. You didn't tell mom, did you? No. I just, not, not yet. I mean, don't tell mom about this. You know what she gets? Reasonably angry at an insane thing you did? Look, I'm the fun one. 
I've always been the fun one. Mom's gonna be upset with me. And you don't want to think of like you know, the fun kid getting into trouble. She's already worried enough about me just being an actor and not having a you know, steady life. So I'm like, so like, if you tell mom, well, it's a bad thing to do. What do you think is going to happen when, uh, when the French Charter is by punching Carol and taking a shit on my laptop, squeezing it and throwing it at the CEO of the company? I'm hoping they don't press charges. Okay. You know, that, that's what it is with me. That's what it always is with me. A way to work out so I can do anything I want. I'm going to buy flowers. I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to apologize profusely. Mm -hmm. I already have, but I'm going to do it again on Monday. And you know, I'm just gonna we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. I believe it or not, this is not the biggest pickle I've ever been in. Why? What was the biggest pickle you've ever been? I mean, what was worse than this? Worse than this? Uh, it was spring break. When I went to spring break, and mom told me not to go, but I just disobeyed her. Yeah, especially because like you didn't go to college. Right. And then I broke my arm in Cancun. I had no medical insurance, um, and so I ended up in a Mexican hospital. And they did not care for it very well, and I was stranded without any money, and I had to figure out a way to get back to the country without a passport, mind you. That was the biggest pick I was in. But you know what? Here I am. How did you get back into the country without a passport? I had to sneak in the back of the truck. Well, so you straight up found a coyote. Coyote? That's what they call people who smuggle immigrants across the border. The coyote clearly. Well, yeah, I found a, I found a coyote, and I got in the back of the truck, I hid it. The guards came through, I kept real quiet, and then I got back in. And then, um, yeah, I went home. Wow, I mean, yeah, I guess this isn't the biggest pickle you've ever been in. You have, uh, I haven't told that story before. No, I mean, you were missing for two months. Did you, like, like look for me? No, I assume you were just hanging out in the pain. That's the problem when you're the fun one, when you're the crazy one. It's like, I don't think anything bad happened to you. I just assume you're off on one of your crazy adventures. Well, it's not, it's not all fun, you know? I'm not good at very, very many things. I'm good at like, being myself, and I just know the fun guy really well. Mm -hmm. And so I do that, and, you know, it just works for me. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, I'm just committed to that. And, I guess I'm starting to see some negative repercussions. But you're not. It's it's me who's starting to see those negative repercussions. Yeah, but it could be me soon if I get charges or I mean, you can find another job. I don't know how to get out of jail. Well, I gotta need to figure out a way, probably. Probably. But that's like a little bit worse than escaping a country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Look, do I? What do you want me to do? Like, what should I, how do I get out of this? Like, what, you're a normal guy. What would you do in my predicament? I wouldn't have done what you did in the first place. So. Let's, let's take that as a given. Let's just, okay. Let's um, just what you would do. I don't know. I, uh, take the punishment, I guess? See, that's your problem. That's the way you've always been. You just take it. You just take whatever life does to you, and you go stand up for yourself. Oh, that's what that was? Stand up for yourself? Apologizing? Well, no, my problem isn't standing up for myself. Your problem is standing up for yourself. I'm saying, that's what you think that what you did was, was standing up for yourself? No, I just made a big mistake. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. You fucked the water cooler. You're gonna take this the wrong way, but I thought it was really funny. Like if I did that, I wrote, if I wrote a script and I fucked a water cooler, uh -huh. like in that scene, if we wrote this, that's what we'll do. Let's write a script. Let's write a script about what just happened. Uh -huh. We'll sell it. Come on. We'll make a ton of money. I'll act in it. Uh -huh. Listen, this isn't this isn't script work, okay? Are you? I'm just a normal fun down guy. Whose crazy, reckless brother came in and died in fire, and now we have to figure out a way to make rent. I don't see how that's like a plot of a movie. Oh my god, it's the perfect movie plot. Are you kidding me? Me too. I'm like, but we don't get along. Exactly. Friction is what makes 
there are movies. I don't know, you know, I think I'd rather make money starting some kind of business in my home. I mean, I've always loved uh, gardening and growing things. Uh, maybe I could start a garden and sell to a farmer's market or something. Yeah, do that. But do that while we're writing this script and making this movie. I've got a friend. My friend is a waiter, mm -hmm. and his friend almost got a deal from Hulu. Mm -hmm. We could just ask them, like whoever they talk to over there, we could bring the script and say, hey, give this to your friend, and I bet they would buy it. I don't know, I mean, I can go get us a laptop right now. All right, get a laptop, I'll be right back.
some reason, we flip it around and you all of a sudden become the crazy one and I become the buttoned up one. And you can never talk me into being crazier. One last time. I mean, maybe I could. We do have this drug dealer's laptop. I know how to get the money. Sell the laptop. 